Mr. Speaker, it's shocking that the average Canadian family must now spend 63.5 percent of their total pre-tax household income in order to afford a mortgage for the typical home in Canada. Now, it's even way worse in British Columbia, where that's 106 percent. 100% is someone's entire income. Wow. No wonder families are in a financial crisis where they can barely afford to live or feed themselves. And this is after eight years of this NDP Liberal government. Will the Prime Minister actually build the homes, not bureaucracy and photo ops, in his budget? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I take the question with a heavy dose of irony, considering that we've invested $31.5 million through the Housing Accelerator Fund in that member's constituency. Moreover, Mr. Speaker, this is a fund that not only she, but every Conservative member of Parliament vows to d take apart should they form government. Where they will cut funds for housing, we will make the investment. Where we cut taxes, they will put them back on. We are doing what it takes to make it easier to build homes faster, and we're going to put Canadians to work in the process. Mr. Speaker, a heavy dose of reality is after eight, year, eight years of this Liberal NDP government and all of their spending in photo ops, things are worse. And just today, RBC confirmed that Canada's housing crisis is only going to get worse under Liberal policies. They said only 26% of Canadian households can afford a single detached home today. Now, a couple decades ago, that was 49%. The CMHC forecast in 2025-26, housing starts will even be lower than in 2020-2021. So this Prime Minister is just not worth the cost and the corruption. Will the Prime Minister actually build the homes, not bureaucracy and photo ops, in his budget? Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are going to put forward policies that are going to help solve the national housing crisis. We know that higher interest rate environments have made it difficult to build homes. That's why we are cutting taxes on new home construction, which they oppose. It's why we're putting more money on the table to build new apartments, which they oppose. It's why we put money towards incentivizing changes for cities, which they oppose. And just this past week, their deputy leader held a press conference to proudly declare that they were siding with the NIMBYs when it came to municipal zoning reforms. We need to do everything we can to make it easier to build homes more quickly and more cost-effectively. It's a shame the Conservatives oppose at every stage.